like lower body of a spider, yet the like almost like a humanoid upper torso. Uh, it is both night and day simultaneously at this point. Okay, so we don't have any sort of uh, knowledge of uh... no. Unless any of you guys have a feat that does that. I haven't seen, well, I don't believe I've seen that in any of your characters. I don't think we're holding clocks. No. No, but no, there's we, like, we, we, um, we, we might have an idea what it was, but so we don't know where that's, that's fair enough. I'm okay with that. So I'm assuming you guys go to leave the entire area. Is there any reason we'll to go stay? back to the, like the, um, like climb back out. Might as well. Please make a um, a strength check as you climb the ladder. Or Would that the not be rope? acrobatics, you know, ladder or athletics? Mm, maybe? No, it's a it might be acro- might be athletic. I'll, I'll, but... I'll say strength just because you're pulling up your own body weight. Uh, you know what? It's the exact same for me, anyways. <laughs> Saving throw or a check? Check. You're just seeing if you can climb the ladder. Or oh, a strength check. That's so that would be a sixteen. All right, Wildove gets it up fine. Um, I will assist my companions uh, on their way up uh, from the top. Um, okay. Uh, Harmon, you did not make it. You, you kind of jumped up on there. You got, like, one hand up, and then you immediately fell back into the water. Um, and, sorry, I didn't hear what Peter and oh, no. Gordon's role was. Oh, so that's easy. because we were waiting for them. Sorry. I, um, I avoid yeah, I the just... splash of Harmon, and I roll a 17. All right, you managed to climb back up pretty well. And uh, when you get to the, sorry, okay. and when you kind of get back up, you, uh, Will Dove's kind of like offering you a hand to kind of help pull you up that last little bit. I dismiss it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, I've also got a 17. I try again. Uh, and got a f- uh, 14. Uh, same thing as before, um, Peter. You kind of climb up and um, uh, as you get up to the top, uh, Wildove kind of offers you a hand to help you climb up. Do you accept or do you uh, pull a Morden? <laughs> I take his hand, pull myself up. Alright. And same. And uh, Harmon, with a little bit of difficulty, you're finally able to get yourself up. And the hand is offered to you as well. Um, do you take or do you pull a Morden? Uh, I, I get out of the hole. I take his. I okay. Take it then. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I love the morded. I love it. I have something named after me. It's great. <laughs> so you guys are back up to the top, and it appears to be early morning. All right. Well, it sounds like we need to go back to Kiana and talk to her about this house of bones, Skelly Crib. Skelly Crib. Sorry. Did, sorry. What time of day was it? Uh, early morning. Early morning. Okay. Are we ready to make this journey again? <laughs> Actually, we should probably eat. It's early morning. We, we just ate. Need to eat no, we ate. We ate when we um, finished our rest. It'd be okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know if you're there, but I, at this point, I'm just assuming you guys eat. Um. Whenever you guys go to take a long rest and wake up for that long rest. Because being honest, no one ever keeps track of food in D and D. No, unless it becomes part of the storyline. Yeah, unless it's like something important. Like rations are some of the most useless things you'll ever have because no one pays attention to them. Um, assume you guys start heading back. Yes. Yes, yep. we will uh, start start on our quest to return back whence we came. Okay, give me a second so I can find the way back. Because I can't quite remember. Okay. Uh, I found it. So you guys travel for about a day. By about sundown, you guys once again reach that old cabin uh, that you guys had patched up. And you have the fond memories of making baggins. And (laughs) Uh, and at that point, it is sundown. Would you guys like to take a rest here? It makes sense that we would take a rest here, I think. Unless uh, anybody wants to continue on throughout the night. Is it still bad idea? Is it still uh, fortified from our last uh, visit? Uh, yep, it's still well, minus like the two um, bits of stone that you had uh, mined out of the way, in order to leave the morning you 
uh, departed. Uh, it's still pretty fortified. Uh, fortified. Hmm. Are they trying to pick up that copper that's outside the cabin? No one mined anything, so. <laughs> yeah, nobody. I don't think anybody picked up the copper. No. Me, copper. Sorry. <laughs> it, it's it's um it's a bad habit. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just something that has to be done every single time. Well, be- before I take the long rest, can I go out and mine this copper up? All right. Uh, I'm just going to say, you roll, uh, get them. One, two, three, four. You get four, five copper. And I'm assuming you'll head back in in long rest? After securing yep. the uh, perim- or the the door. Yeah, I assume that. Okay. I'll stay um, up for the first uh, four hours. All right. I'll do the second uh, half then. All right. Uh, please make a perception check real quickly. Both of us, or um, we'll do uh, Peter first. Not twenty. As you're sitting there, everyone, everyone around you is sleeping. Uh, all you really hear is like the fire that's in the corner, and around you. You look out the window and you notice that compared to previous nights, there seems to be a lot less spiders. That is almost odd, but there seems to be, it almost seems like more peaceful, quieter feel to it. And you notice that and that's really the only big difference uh, in it besides the, you notice eyes seeming to be watching you from the windows. Not close enough to be able to discern what they are, but noticeable in which you can tell the glowing red of them from in the distance. And with that, it is the first four hours, if, unless there's anything you want to do in particular. You get in, we're okay. Alright, and with that, uh, you head to bed and it is Wildo's turn. Uh, Wildo, I'd like you to please make a perception check. Alright, perception. That's the one with the P, right? <laughs> that is a dirty twenty-two. Alright. As you were once again, uh just uh like um Peter, as you're resting or after your rest and you're just waiting for the day just um the daylight to appear, you are kind of watching out the windows, just watching the zombies, creepers interact. Every once in a while, you notice a fight break out between a zombie and a skeleton, and you kind of like cheer on one of the sides. You begin to feel watched, as in the distance, you no- seem to notice this, uh, these eyes watching you. Uh, this time, though, as the morning light slowly begins to peek over, and at the very, very early morning, as your uh, party is still asleep, you almost notice the silhouette of this very large creature that disappears, um, seemingly scurrying off. Do I see uh, the direction that it scurried off? Uh, over top of the mountain, opposite, and what you're going. Opposite so, of where we're going. Okay, so not in the direct. So where we came from, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to reset the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fair I enough. Will- I will say though that you were able to tell kind of like the like lower body of a spider get the like almost like a humanoid upper torso. What? Well, um, I will. So once my companions, uh, once I am sure that it is not coming towards us and my companions awake, I'll let everyone but Morden. Uh, I'll uh, I'll secretly let everyone but Morden know about the spider creature that uh, I spotted uh, during the night. You do do the thing like when a swear like when a, a part in a movie that shows up that you don't want your kids to you just kind of cover his ears. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 Morton would allow me to put my fingers in his ears, that might have been. Uh, but I don't think he would trust me uh, to do that. So no, uh, just while Morton is off uh, doing Morton things like being grumpy and uh, sour and all that, um, I wow. will mention to uh, Peter and uh, Harm and. Uh, uh, that we may want to ixnay on the spider ray, uh, but to you know keep a, a breast of or to keep a, a, doubt, a lookout for it. Sounds good. All right, and I'm assuming with that you continue on. Yes. Yes. All right. 
Uh, you continue on. Uh, once again, uh, you travel a decent amount. Uh, you get to one point. I know, great storytelling on my part. Uh, you once again get to that darn cliff that took you guys forever to get over and just kind of hop down it. <laughs> I do have the feather falling thing now. Step True. of the wind. Oh, no, wait, no, that's not it. I got something for fall. Slow fall, that's what it is. And I'm assuming you guys make it through another night. Nothing abnormal happens. You eat, you sleep. Um, set up your shelter. And take it down in the morning. Uh, continue on for another day. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep... Uh, we're not gonna keep RPing every night. No. Um, <laughs> there's no point. It's, it, it's, it's, unless we, you know, run into something, I think we're all okay with... Yeah. ...progression, <laughs> right? Yeah, unless, unless there's somebody wants to do some mining. Yeah. Unless anyone wants to do anything specific, um, at this point in time, it's kind of just automatic. You will quote that? Yeah. Sounds good to yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, we do want to do some mining, but, um... Not while we're traveling. All right. <laughs> Eventually, you guys uh, begin to go over the hills once again, and you notice there's an extra building uh, near the shack that Kiana uh, has lived in, and you know, um, and tending to her duties at the at her normal at within the more temple-ish area of the built of the area in which uh, you had first met her, uh, you notice her kind of working away, re- refreshing some banners, putting some banners, uh, taking some banners down, picking up new ones, fixing some of them, uh, clearing out some of this, like, uh, algae that seems to be forming. And what do you do? Wave. Hi. <laughs> she she notices you over the hill and gives you guys a bright smile and waves to you. Uh, then I, I guess we will proceed down uh, towards the uh, temple and uh, greet uh, the elven uh, priestess, whose name I have forgotten again. It starts with a K. Wow. Kiana, I literally <laughs> DM'd Better it to normal. you, dude. I know, I know, but I don't have that screen up, so. For shame. I know. You go down to her, and she, she kind of greets you with a smile. So, how was it? Did you discover anything of use? Uh, we went to we went to this portal, and we were greeted. Well, first of all, we were greeted by Nafi, and uh, Peter became very um, reserved regarding her presence. And May I ask why? I thought I had let you know that th- that there would be that there was a purpose to your going there. Yeah, well, I do believe we spiders. found our purpose. Uh, we've been instructed to uh, gather up 12 orbs uh, similar to this one that uh, I hold uh, now hold, which I am only just remembering that I might want to note it in my uh, inventory. Ah, wonderful. Uh, she kind of looks at it. That it. <laughs> I see you did find the eye. I couldn't have said anything uh, to you guys about exactly what it was you're looking for, but I am certainly glad you found it. Oh, I couldn't. Yeah, so... Oh, never mind. Uh, sorry, out of, out of character, and I should have asked this earlier, is there anything I should put this orb down as? An orb? Uh, or do it just eye. a custom... Nether It's eye. just a custom thing, then. Yeah. Yeah, you can either create a custom item or uh, rename a gem. There we go. Add custom. Depending on what you want to do with it. I go up to her. Um, I thank her for allowing us to take the the book, and I return it to her. She. We're done with this. So she look. She looks at it and just kind of smiles and kind of like gently pushes it back. She kind of gives you, like, uh, like she smiles at you and goes, Well, you, it might help you out a bit more in the future. I'm not too sure how much, and besides, I'm not too sure how much use, more useful it could be to me. She, uh, she's, she seems to suddenly get like, this idea of, Oh, I completely forgot! I, um, I have built something for you all. 